So, Bobby, one of the other questions that we got on the Instagrams was, uh, hey, so is there any way for me to guarantee my AFSC if I decide to leave the pipeline through performance, through quitting, or whatever else? So can you talk a little bit about how they choose an AFSC if the pipeline doesn't work out? So the pipeline doesn't work out. They're definitely going to look off of um, your preference list. So whenever you go through the recruiting process, you've qualified for the Air Force, you're going to create a list. We're going to give you the job list and be like, hey, you know, what do you want to do in the Air Force? One out of ten. Like, this is your plan B right? if something doesn't happen. She hits the fan, like you're saying. Um, they're going to look at that list. They're also going to look at your your history. Like, what was your job history? Um, and maybe so, like, if somebody did, for instance, this is one of my guys, uh, payment construction. So if they're a construction worker, if it doesn't work out in SWIC or whatever, whatever happens, then they'll reclass you into more than likely one of those career fields. Um, because you have that history, why not put you in something that you already have some kind of knowledge in, right? So um, they'll look off of that. They'll also have you create a list too. Um, normally, I'd say about six to 10 jobs as well. Uh, just make that list, uh, put it, put what you want to do in there. Um, it's going to be based on availability at that point as well. So they're going to look and see what was your history. Is it available? If not, then the, the worst case scenario is needs of the Air Force. So what, what do we need the most? What's something? They'll still talk to you and still trying to get your preference too. But if you're just one of those hard asses, like, mm, I don't know how I feel about that one. Then they're going to be like, yeah, we're just going to give this guy something because he don't know what he wants. Well, and, and people need to understand it's, it's like a group of like three people that do this and they yep. have like two lists. They have like the people I need to get new jobs to today list and what they want. And then the list of available jobs that it was updated that morning. And they're gonna. They're, they're like, okay, this is what you want. It's not on the list. This is what you want. It's not on the list. And like, it's just the way it is. Like, they don't have time to be like, hey, Airman, former Cone. Like, I know you really want this job. We're just gonna pay you for the next two and a half years and wait for that job to come open. Like, that's just unrealistic. Yep, you gotta you gotta think about it first. Hey, you you do, you, you are sold on the Air Force first, right? So anything that happens at that point, like, hey, you're still in the Air Force, you're still getting paid, Uncle Sam. So two and a half days a month, all the goods, right? 